Dear Diary, today I invented the cheeseburger. I may have damned us all. Excuse me, Doctor, do you have an Xbox or something? <sighs> now, Davy, I don't have anything in my possession that could be called an Xbox. I only have actual boxes. This is not a commentary on the metaphysical past, present or future state of any four-cornered storage container, Doctor. Well then, Davy, pray enlighten me as to your point, because otherwise I can only infer that the excrement spewing from your orifices is intended to obfuscate the true point, you cruel sphinx. Do not trifle with me, I am a force of nature. <sighs> Doctor, I'm not having this argument again. The object permanence of the soul is not up for debate mm. here. Oh no? Well, try to get this through your skull, you intellectual blowhard. When we finally put ships into the luminiferous ether, do you know what we'll find? Nothing that isn't already here among us. At least I'm not a thought fascist. When a noble is my art against a fever, then everyone will see. <laughs> Forgive me, I didn't realize I was debating a child who hadn't faced down original sin, much less had an original thought. Oh, you like that, wouldn't you? That's more your chosen wheelhouse. You are an animacule on the sole of my boot, you crumb. You think you can scratch the tower of my intellect, you puissant caravaneer. <laughs> God deals with towers, Doctor. You are more likely to grow new lungs than you are to ever understand me. You are a homunculus. Better man's creation than the work of whatever God moulded you out of shit and sulfur. By this ring that I wear, I will find you in the afterlife. I will find you in the hereafter, and by all the gods, known and unknown, named and unnamed, I will visit upon you the knowledge of destruction and loneliness and existence. You've hooves in my dreams, Doctor. <laughs> well, that is precisely what your mother told me. <laughs>